Creative Birdies, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing quite well, actually. Um, last video you guys seen, you seen me with nails. I am now addicted to them, but we'll get more into that in a minute when we start chatting. Before we start, if you're new to the, my channel, I chat a lot, I talk a lot. I talk about life, I talk about the day, I talk about thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. But, with that said, let's get started. Let me show you what we're working with. We have our non-slip bead mat. You can get three for $3.99 or $4.99, something like that, at any bo big box um, craft store. I have my, my light on, my little ring light on, and all the little bugs are flying to the light, flying to the light. Um, I have a sketch. Usually when I do art, uh, when I do my postcards, anything that has to do with art, I don't think about it at all. But I've, I've been a jewelry designer um, for over 20 years and I've always sketched out my designs. With that said, this one I sketched out. So if you're not used to me planning things out, that's because when I do art, I don't plan anything out. But when I do jewelry, Usually I plan out, unless I'm doing a mixed media, let loose jewelry piece, which those are my favorite. Um, let me show you one. Let's see, I've seen it earlier. It's an old piece that never got finished, but it is an example. To me, this is a mixed media piece where I just grab anything that just catches my attention at the moment, and I start wrapping. Like, uh, for, in, there, the, for instance, we have a button, a key, some beads, wire still hanging out, a green ladybug, and then pieces of broken jewelry. And it'll continue to just go that way. It's a very pretty piece. This is a personal piece. Um, most of my pieces are personal pieces. I like making my own jewelry. And I'll just wire wrap that. Oh, let's see. My passion is jewelry. It always has been, but I do love doing art as well. Okay, so I have sketched out. I've done quite a few pieces already off camera. Um, sampling out the easiest way to bring it to you guys, just in case you guys would like to do it as well. I'm very into stars, moons, planets, signs, earth, um, everything that has to do with that. So this one is uh, Ur <laughs> Uranus, sorry, um, inspired earring, sorry for the brain fog. Um, I started creating it on the 18th of this month, 2019. Uh, what is this month? We're in July. Yeah. So here's the hook. I have a yellow bead signifies the sun. I have a blue bead that signifies the earth. And then I have a like a jade color with earth tones, browns, grays going through it. Uh, would be the Uranus. And then I have a red and orange bead that's a square that represents Mars. And then I have a star bead that represents, you know, just our stars. When I first started this, I started with measurements. I took away the measurements just to make it easier. So that goes in my sketchbook and gets put away. Actually, yeah, it could get put away. So I'm using my bead mat so nothing rolls away. I'm using my beads from BB Craft. BB Crafts. It's crafts or craft. I got it wrong the first time and I'm getting it wrong again. I should have wrote it down, but I didn't. In the packaging, that doesn't say their website, but I'm the main focal bead is from there. I showed it to you guys in the review. These make perfect um, Uranus. And there's other planets that it makes perfect for as well. If you just look up your planets, because there's different shades in here with earth tones. Like this one has gray. I hope you can see it. Let's see. 
one has gray and blues, browns and blues, blues, jades. I mean, there's a mixed in, a mixture in here, and they're all beautiful. It's a pretty long strand. Lots of beads. Never, have not counted it, but that's my focal bead, and this is what the video is about, is bbcraft.com. They're beads. And I'm using some personal beads because of the style that I want to make. And then I also have my No More Oops tray. I love this thing. You guys, if you're beaters, this thing is awesome because you can think up your idea and then you can place your beads accordingly to your idea and thoughts. I have broken earrings. Really nice earrings. And this is what inspired what I'm doing. Excuse me. Um, when I first started, I was going to use these little ends, bead caps, but I didn't have enough bead caps, so I had to cut everything back up, and here's pieces of wire, and remake um, the bead, the earring, a few times. Let me show you the earring we're going to be making. I hope the lighting is okay. I still have to work out my lighting because I, my husband broke my actual light that I use my for filming that you guys are so used to. Okay, that's what we're going to be making today. I'll keep that there so you can plan out your beads. I accident well not me. Jackie spilt coffee all over my desk and all over this bead mat and shoes felt really bad and this piece of tape that the lady that makes this bead mat put um, if she's watching or anybody knows her maybe I'll email her I would probably think um, in the future to put your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I whatever compartments in some kind of permanent ink because when this gets wet or if you want to hand wash this this the ABC compartment's gonna it just comes off. I can easily go ahead and write them in if if I needed to. But yeah, that's just an idea for the lady that makes this very, very nice lady. This is handmade by her, lakesidejewelry.net. And I think her name is Darlene. Not positive though, but she had gifted me this. So you can purchase this um think off of Etsy but go ahead and type into your computer lakesidejewelry.net and you'll find yourself one I don't know the price right now okay all right I know that the video looked nice and clean in the white space but I just love to have my painted up drop cloth down it just inspires me and makes me feel extra artsy when I use it so that's what I'm going to do okay back to the nails let me I need to move one of the dogs see this is my channel this is my other channels just get to it fly by fly through it step by step tutorial not me I like a relationship with my subscribers and viewers okay so I kind of need to move but I have a dog under my desk so the beads, like I mentioned, I'm using a just yellow bead, blue bead, they're all glass. The BB craft bead, and then a square bead, and then a star. I'm sure you can get the star off of BB crafts as well. Uh, I had an option of using these beads, just in case you guys have them. They're just little glass star beads, but I decided not to use those. I was making the rings around Uranus, handmade like this with wire and braiding, twisting. It worked out, but it's just too much for, it's just too much hassle to deal with. I'll talk about my nails in a little bit. And then you're going to need some 
ear hooks. I like mixing wires. I like mixing metals. I just love doing that, so that's what I'm going to do. No jump rings. You can use jump rings in between. I'm not going to. The reason I say that your option is to use jump rings is if you put a jump ring in there, you can get this done faster. Also, the movement of the bead will be more flowy. This movement is flowy, but not as flowy as it would be with jump rings. But I'm skipping on the jump rings, okay? I have these little bead caps. I got them off of eBay. You get like a gazillion of them for just a few cents. And they look like this. They're tiny, tiny, like very small. And let's get moving. Oh, and some wire. Pretty thin wire. I want to say this is about a 26 gauge. Uh, 24, 26 gauge, something like that. It was gift, the wire is gifted to me, so I don't have any packaging to tell me. And it is in silver. And like I said, I'm mixing metals. I have copper, silver, and gold metal going through here. So let's get moving. Oh, and you're going to need tools. I'm not measuring anything. My ears, like everybody else's, they're cousins, not sisters, so to me it doesn't matter. But you can measure everything out if you like. I don't. I just eyeball everything. These pliers here are great pliers. I got them for free on an advertisement from on Facebook. Um, made in Italy. And I think it's Gahapi. Gahapi. Gahapi is the brand. All I did was pay for shipping. Shipping was like $3 and I got those beautiful Italian cutters. Okay, let's get moving. I'm going to start with my yellow bead cap. My ear is going crazy today. So I'm sorry if I'm breathing in really deep. Um, I have a problem with, uh, not a problem, it's the way I was born. I was born with my arteries. Arteries? I think that's what they're called. Sounds wrong right now. Wrapped around my ears, the back of my ears, and that's why I have a whooshing sound in my ear makes me breathe sometimes really deep. Okay, these little pieces, try your best to keep your eye out for them. Keep them all wrangled up. Throw them in the trash immediately to be recycled. Because you don't want your cats or any of your dogs jumping up on your desk and getting one stuck in their little furs. Alright, so me, this wire is so thin that it's quite simple to just wrap, do a wrap. That's what I'm doing. I'm working off the wire spool and I'm just wrapping like that. Three wraps and I'm good. And then I'm going to cut as close as I possibly can. Later on you can go through your beads, fill around and push in any ends that are sticking up. So there's our first one. Then we're going to move into our the next one. I was supposed to teach you guys this in a different way, but that totally slipped my mind. We're supposed to do Uranus first. That's okay, we'll do it next. So bead cap, blue bead signifying the earth. Oh my god, a bug just flew in between my boobs. <gasps> Hang on, it might be a mosquito. Oh, it's gonna melt in there anyways. My body temperature between my boobies is really high and I'm sorry for the glare or the blurriness. What's making it blur? It has to be the tools because I barely brought those in. And then we started having the blur. 
grab the first bead you did, add it to the top, and do a wrap. Now, before you wrap, use your thumb to push that up, and then use your pointer finger to pull that wire down, and do your wrap. That way you're entrapping the bead you just put in. It's really hot here in LA, about uh, 99 degrees, so I'm in a tube top, I look naked. Okay, here's the next one. Mm, before I do that, what I'm going to do No, we're going to go ahead and do that. Wrap. I'm going to bring it down some. Okay, now this is where I'm going to show you guys how to do Uranus bead. We should have done this from the beginning. I forgot. Alright, so you can work off of your spool, but you don't have to. Let's see. So I'm going to stick it in, sticking your anus into the wire. You can actually stick the next bead down there. If you like, you can make the planet the main focal bead first before doing everything else that I've done. That's the way I did it the first time, is my focal bead from BB Crafts. I did first by itself, but since I forgot, we're doing it now. Okay, so what you can do is make your little loop, right, like that. go around twice. Yeah. Then you're going to loosely wrap your wire around your bead like that. At first it's loose, loosely. You can either come down and wrap again, but I don't like that look. So what I'm going to do now is trim away, give myself a little inch, and then I'm going to wrap it into that wire using this tool here. So I'm going to wrap it in. such a thin wire that it will eventually break once I continue to pull on it. So I'm just going up and into the wire like that. And then I'm going to pull it. Make sure I'm at a spot where I like and wrap again. But I'm going to trim it down just a little. Where'd that piece go? There it is. Wrap it in again. Let it come out, and that's good enough. 
and I'm going to trim it. And when I trim such a small amount of wire, I put my thumb over it. Then the wire gets stuck in my thumb. It's really tiny. It looks like it hurts, but it doesn't. Then I pinch it, throw it into the little bin next to me, just to make sure that the animals are safe. So that's how I create create the, that orb around Uranus planet. Okay. Next will be what is this? The fire planet, which is Mars. Where's my wire? Here it is. Now it's a square bead, and we know this. I really do know this. But these little circle beads, bead caps, work very well. So I'm going to put my star in first, then I'm going to put a bead cap, then I'm going to put the square Mars bead, and then another bead cap, and then we're going to put Uranus onto the wire. And we're almost done. So since we're almost done, as far as my nails, I was doing yard work <laughs> and they popped off. They've lost every four days it seems like one or two pop off. They're right here. I'm going to put them back on because I have to go to the doctors tomorrow. And I want my nails did. I want my nails did. I'm really really digging the nails. This one stayed on and that one stayed on. The rest are off. I really love the nails. They make me feel more feminine, more put together. So I just sliding this back on. It's like a continuous chain. I've done continuous chain beads. They're really pretty. And you can make bracelets and necklaces and stuff like that. And then I'm just twisting. And again, I'm going to cut, put my thumb over it, grab the piece. I just do it automatically. It's like second nature to me to do that. There comes the other bead. It just slides right back on. So I'll be gluing my nails on, going to the doctors, and they'll stay on for a good four days. They'll pop they could possibly stay on for even longer if you're not rough with your hands. I am. I am very rough with my hands. So I'm going to let that little um, charm, star charm, roll in on its own. It'll find its way in there. And if you see that your hoop, your little hoop there is too big, just do this motion and it tight, you can tighten up your little loop. Give it a tug and go around. Okay, I accidentally let go, and that's perfectly okay. I don't need to go back in. I don't need to go back in. I could just go ahead and wrap. And then we'll do the ear hook. We're done with that. Here comes the ear hook. Always open your ear hook side to side. Connect. You can use a jump ring. I am not. I will be wearing these tomorrow. White t-shirt, jeans, and some white clean tennis shoes. I shaved my legs just in case the doctor needs to take a peek. Alright, so there are Uranus beads. It all started because of the BB craft uh, bead right there in the middle. And there you go. Very cute. Very cute Uranus earrings. Uranus earrings for your ears. 
Okay guys, I'll see you guys later. I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you have enjoyed your weekend and have a great start to your week. And thanks for being here. Um, if you don't mind, share with you, uh, share my video on your social media. Share my channel with your friends. And uh, if you create these, I would love to see pictures. You can send it to me through DMs on Instagram. You can tag me on Instagram. You can tag me on Facebook. Facebook, you can find me at Sigrid, my birth name, Soto, on Facebook. You could tag me, just hashtag Sigrid Soto. Create a birdie if you like, and I'll see it. Or friend me on there. Um, Instagram, Twitter, just hashtag my name, and I'll see you guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Have a great, great day. Bye, guys. Stay creative.